This is the Echo Lab research station in Trumbull Valley, and without a doubt, it is incredible. And thanks to me recruiting a Red Talon hacker previously, I have a spare outpost slot that's just waiting to be filled. I can use a little help here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't we all love? We all need bloody help sometimes. Oh, no, no, no. I've done it again. I've done it again. I mean, I landed on the roof, but I got—I went for the double, so I'm taking that as a win. You can say whatever you want, but that guy knows how to bloody act. One thing I haven't mentioned so far, but you might have seen it in the intro, is the outpost is actually claimed by a player cart. So I'm armed to the teeth and ready for war. It's a weird place for a player cart, surely. Uh, he's only saying there so he can't stand on the car and shoot it through the window like a cheating scumbag. Stick the green zone, noob. Actually, I just realised something. I can cheese this one. Oh my god, why didn't I not think of this? Honestly, I might be a moron. I'll pause by here just to give you time to comment. You are a moron. With the door blocking the only entrance, I should be able to take out the play cart with my heavy weapon and not worry about being disturbed by a bunch of nasty shit. Guys, I think I'm stuck. Really messed this up, haven't I? <laughs> so I'm forced to use the radio commands to unstick me, but I'm a right stubborn bastard. And when I stick my mind to something, you know damn well I'm gonna see it through. So after moving the car out of the way, I close the door. Open it that way. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Look, I'm slowly learning. Then position the car so the driver's door will open up inside the shed. This is incredibly easy now. In fact, it's so easy is barely worth talking about. Look, they're all gathering outside, the fools. <laughs> but I'm obviously going to because it's YouTube and, well, watch time is incredibly important. I haven't even needed to fire a shot, man. A thousand IQ move this. But I got too excited too soon. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. No. Okay. Yeah, too excited there. My bad. Jesus Christ. Only I could get bloody infected when it's impossible for a zombie to even touch me. There we go. Boom. Oh, thanks, Cleo. So now with the area free of blood plague, I claim the Echo Lab research station as an outpost. I'm then able to choose one of three strategies, and I choose the biochem crafting, so I'll be able to make bloater gas and zombate. You'll see how I use them later in the video. Also, while I'm on this side of the map, I decide to loot the area for a bit, seeing as my addiction to molotovs has caused me to run low on fuel. After that, I decide to head back to base. That is until I come across a massive hole. I've decided we need an actual fight. Obviously, the smartest play on higher difficulties is to avoid the fight. There there you go. That's what I'm talking about. But this is still a YouTube video and people need to be entertained. Especially as all of our attention spans have been fucked up by TikTok. I love this tactic though, man. Some might say that's a waste of supplies, but to them... I say supplies are only there for my entertainment. On my way past, I stop at another petrol station. Hey, look, it's another pronto gas, man. So I can gather more fuel resources and therefore make more stuff to burn. Come on, team. Gather in one neat circle for me. There we go. Thank you very much. Whoa, don't think so, pal. Woo! But it's fair to say things kind of escalate a bit. Look, there's just hordes coming from everywhere. Right, if you could all gather by there for me. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. But after managing to burn everything alive, I'm able to search the petrol station and find two fuel resources. After that, I'm able to head back to base. Oh, I almost got him. Oh, look, he's learning. Nah, he's not. And with no regard for craftsmanship of fencing, I unload all of my juicy loot. But I noticed some dodgy bastards wandering past, and they're on their way to infest a site near my home. Honestly, this must be how America felt during the Cuban Missile Crisis. But I handled the situation very differently than JFK did. Christ, if I was in charge of the world, probably would have been destroyed by nuclear war. Like the video if you think I should go negotiate peace with Putin. I then decide to wait out the night. But it's not because I'm scared of the dark, it's just that my YouTube video will look a lot better in shining daytime. I actually use the trade depot for the first time and call in an ammo trader. I then scrap some shite I'm never gonna use, then fill my pockets with valuables to sell. In fact, I even fill my van with an assortment of weapons I'm never gonna use. I even craft a heavy vehicle kit so my cargo van can get hell of an upgrade. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Now we can survive the apocalypse, boys. Beast. You see, in my head, I was geeing up for a massive quest where I travel to the other side of the map to complete this trade deal. Oh, the ammo dealer even comes to us. I don't even have to go anywhere. What an absolute moron. Anyway, I sell a lot of shit. I also empty his stock of ammo supplies. At this point, you might be wondering what is the point of all of this? Well, let me tell you, I want a ton of bloody influence. And seeing as I've left that ammo trader with less influence than a cancelled YouTuber, I take on a mission to deliver some plague samples. Terrible if I would do it a bloater right now. Jesus Christ. But plague samples ain't the only thing I'm carrying. I've also stuffed my pockets with all the redundant mods I'm never gonna use. But I'll always refuse to use a door. Hey guys, I'm here to help. But unfortunately, they're only interested in the swarms of zombies I've attracted 
distracted with my van. Can you stop shooting everybody, please, and accept my play examples so I can get my influence? I give them the three play examples they want, and I gain a hundred influence for my troubles. I also want to trade you a load of shit. And trade them a load of shit I do. Okay, these guys are poor. I don't know why I'm so surprised, as these guys couldn't even be asked to rip flesh off dying zombies. Anyway, I get back to base, but Trevor never seems to be far behind me. Come here, little fucker. But that's when I hit a stroke of genius. The independence trader. The firework launcher is going to be incredible for dealing with all of these hordes. But before I get the chance to purchase any fireworks, we get a hell of a blast from the past. Ulysses. Hang on, you're not Ulysses. But then again, my Ulysses uh, ended slightly differently. Again, I sell him a load of shite, which I'm sure the comments will tell me off for. But to make up for it, I buy every single firework this man possesses. Frankly, it's incredible I haven't used this weapon more. Then after crafting some zombies, me and my guy Forks Parade hit the road. And I got the perfect motherfuckers to test this shit on. You see, we have some hostiles that have moved into town, and you should bloody well know by now how we deal with hostiles. Come on, Jug. You're all coming with me. We're off on an ad epic adventure. So I lead the Juggernaut and every single horde I can over towards the hostiles. I then park a little up the ways from them. Don't know I'm here yet, I don't think. I run towards their home drop in a boombox. And surprisingly, they're not too appreciative about this. Whoa! Jesus Christ, they're going for me! I then hide behind my car like a massive pussy while the music blares into the distance. Floods of zombies then storm their position, including that nasty-ass juggernaut from earlier. And I haven't even run in aimlessly lobbing zombies yet. Okay, well, great. Looks like that didn't exactly work. So I try to shake him off by tracing my footsteps and lobbing more zombies. However, hostiles on Nightmare Zone are like John Wick on crap. Oh shit, I've taken major hits. But not every story can have a happy ending. No! Waldrum! He's been shot and munched on, and his health and stamina are non-existent. But Waldrum's an absolute beast. Fight it off! Fight it off, son! But absolutely nothing can ever stop this man. No, not again! Waldrum! The hostiles are moving in on my location, and so are hordes of the undead. Honest to God, these guys are fucking... Oh, and again! Waldrum! This looks like the end of Waldrum. Waldrum, no, 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 no. I can't quite explain how, but Waldrum gets away. This hasn't gone to plan, guys. This is where most people would run, save the fight for another day. But I'm not that kind of guy. I blast my lord into her face, which is impressive as she's not even on her knees yet. Bitch. That's one down, two to go. Although I suspect that the Juggernaut might have finished off one of them. After that headshot, she's easily dealt with. Now they're dead, it's time to run for the fucking hills. Definitely could have done a better job of that. Again, I head back to base with absolutely zero regard for wooden fences. Waldrum takes a well-earned nap, and we take over as the fan favourite, Terence the Red Talon Contractor. And this time as I leave base, I promise to actually use the fireworks this time, because I want to take on some infestations. Well, that's until I come across a pack of ferals. My mortal enemy. To be fair, these guys are actually pretty sound. <laughs> It's those armoured-headed pricks in Lethal Zone that do my sweden. A level 1 siege site has formed near my base, and I'm about to show you why the firework launcher is the best weapon for dealing with this update. Doors get booted in, and I whip it out like I'm about to get cancelled. Yep, yeah, well, we got the infestation sorted. But there's still zombies present, and believe it or not, I haven't set myself on fire yet. Woohoo! Alright, well, I'm glad that's checked off the J. Talbot bingo card. Next, we got a level 3. That's gonna include a juggernaut. Yeah, but juggernauts are easy now. Especially after the last video where I took on 3 at once. The comment section or even calling me the Juggernaut Slayer. Well, actually, literally nobody commented that, but... It sounds good in my head, okay? I rock up with a harder shit power slide, then I blast the windows with fireworks. Now, I don't technically know if it's possible for fireworks to break windows. What is a firework physically made out of? I probably could Google it, but I'm way too lazy for that shit. Look at that, we did it. Questions uh, to be said about my rewards, but uh, uh, words don't make a lot of sense. Holy shit. <laughs> This is without a doubt my new favourite gun. Fuck the grenade launcher, I'm giving everyone in my community pyro launchers. Oh, hey, hey! Oh my god, this is so much fun! And you might have just noticed there's a juggernaut in the background, and I'm closer to the plague than the 1300s. But I've never run from a fight in my life, as long as you ignore the ones where I did. I'd retreat to the roof of my car to regain some stamina. And luckily, juggernauts have zero effect on cars. Uh-oh, this could cause issues. So I jump off the car, face tap the feral, avoid the juggernaut's hulk smash, then stab a zombie in the top of the head. But if I'm gonna live up to the name as the Juggernaut Slayer, I can't leave. I can't run. I must fight until the bitter end. Oh, great. For fuck's sake, Terry. People are gonna start to think I'm doing this on purpose. I'm pretty certain that's like the fifth video in a row that Terry's been infected. At this point, I've gotta wonder. Maybe I'm the problem. I will end this Juggernaut. It's a level three infestation, which means I get sick loot. Fuck the fact your timer is counting down to zero. I need me a 50 cal. Is this cheating? I don't care. I managed to get a couple of hits on him, but then disaster strikes. Oh! 
Oh no! But after watching this footage back, it very much looks like I did that on purpose. But I can promise you I didn't, I'm just that moronic. I'll be honest with you, I've been in better situations right now, and somehow I managed to get myself even more stuck. All while having a nine minute counter over my head. The radio command teleports me to a strategic position, and I deliver a back shot to end all back shots. Always carry protection, kids. And I thought we were supposed to get some sick loot from killing juggernauts, but all I bloody got was a 22. I stabbed myself in the neck to remove my status condition. We got so much plague cure, it's unreal. But this shit is far from over. Now, obviously, in hindsight, it would have made a lot more sense to take out this plague cart before the infestation, because that way the infestation would wither and die itself. But if I had done that, I wouldn't have ended up with a 22 caliber pistol. Anyway, I run in and swing my apocalypse bat at the heart, but if I'm being honest, it does very little damage. Well, it's a bloody good thing I brought more than a piece of wood with some nails stuck into it. Fire in the hole! The bouncing Boris I lobbed goes crazy, and I take a breather to regain stamina. It also seems a bloat has become a bit too personal with my car, but that's not going to slow me down from using a ridiculous amount of explosives, even if my own car is potentially collateral damage. Frankly, it's a shame I haven't got a firework sponsor to sell to my young and impressionable audience. Oh shit in hell! <laughs> I turn the pyro launcher onto the heart, Whoa! and even use the firework launcher while standing on the roof of my car. Oh shit. <laughs> but to be honest, its best use is definitely filling out hordes. I should be really worried by how much I like fire, but I get the final blow with my trusty baseball bat. There we go, that's what I like to see. After quickly looting the area, I head back to base. But before I let you go, you have a very important decision to make, because the stranded soldiers need some play cure. We already gave them a ton of play samples earlier, but maybe they don't know the first thing about crafting medicine. I don't know, maybe I'll let the comment section decide that one. Do I save the stranded soldiers? Or do I let them turn and become hostile?